Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at something really exciting. We're breathing new life into the legendary Redmi Note 7 Pro by flashing Voltage OS, based on the very latest Android 16. It's always amazing to see developers keeping these older devices alive with the newest software. In this video, we'll cover the performance, features, battery life, and whether this ROM is stable enough to be your daily driver. So let's get right into it. First up, the user interface. Voltage OS offers a clean, pixel-like experience that feels incredibly smooth. Day-to-day -day navigation is fluid, and the OS feels really responsive on this hardware. But the real power lies in the customization, which is all neatly organized in a central hub called Power Hub. Let's dive in. Starting with the theme section, you get some powerful tools to control the look and feel. You can enable a dual-tone shade for your notification panel, and even apply a semi-transparent effect to your notifications. It goes deep into the Monet theming engine, allowing you to override the default accent and background colors, and even fine-tune the color brightness and intensity with luminance and chroma sliders. Next up, in the status bar settings, you can enable a modernized set of icons, customize the clock and date, and add a network traffic monitor to see your internet speed in real time. There are also toggles for things like showing a 4G icon instead of LTE and an icon for when data is disabled. The lock screen menu adds some great quality of life features. There's a cool ripple effect when you unlock with your fingerprint and you get detailed charging information showing the current, voltage and temperature right on the lock screen. For security, you can prevent the quick settings panel from being pulled down on a secure lock screen and require an unlock for sensitive tiles like airplane mode and mobile data. Finally, the miscellaneous section has some unique tricks. You'll find options for a floating rotate button, enabling a music visualizer called Pulse, and customizing heads-up notifications to be less intrusive. There's even a handy partial screenshot shortcut and component spoofing for certain apps. What really surprised me are the advanced privacy and security features, many of which seem inspired by Graphene OS. For instance, you can change the internet connectivity check from Google servers to the Graphene OS server, or turn it off completely for better privacy. The same proxy option is available for Widevine and attestation key provisioning, preventing direct communication with Google servers for these functions. You can also configure private DNS to automatically disable itself when you're connected to a VPN. These are serious privacy enhancements you don't see in most custom ROMs. Now let's talk about performance. I ran Geekbench and it scored 674 in single core and 1657 in multi-core. For this hardware, those are respectable numbers, showing the ROM is well optimized. In the real world, this means smooth multitasking and a generally lag-free experience for most daily tasks. Battery life has been pretty solid. I was easily able to get through a full day of moderate use. The idle drain is minimal, which is a huge plus. The ROM seems to handle background processes efficiently. All right, now let's address a crucial point for many users, safety net. This is where we hit a snag. Straight out of the box, safety net fails on this build. I even tried rooting with Majisk and using various modules to hide it, but unfortunately it still does not pass. This means banking apps, payment apps, and certain games that rely on safety net will not work. This is a deal breaker for some, so it's very important to keep this in mind. So what's the final verdict? Voltage OS is an incredibly impressive ROM. You get the latest Android 16, a clean UI, deep customization through PowerHub, and some truly excellent privacy features. The performance and battery life are solid for this device. However, the failed safety net status is its biggest downside. If you're a privacy enthusiast or a tinkerer who doesn't rely on banking apps, this ROM is a phenomenal choice. But if you need your device to pass safety net, you'll have to look elsewhere for now. That's all for this review. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be great, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.